What's up, everybody? Natcap here, and welcome back to T A B S Tabs. Yeah, we are going to hop into sandbox mode again tonight. I've got a few things I can try out, I think, and some other things I'm sure we can come up with. I kind of want to go back to some of these. I just like that they're just plain. I mean, we see these all the time in all the different. Uh, like the, the campaign levels we're doing. So I figure these are a lot more interesting for actual uh, just sandboxy type things. I don't know which one I want to do, though. I kind of just like the regular simulation map. Is that wrong of me? Is it wrong of me? I think it is wrong of me, but that's fine. Well, first things first, let's go in here really quick. Because um, we do have one request from Castro Cryptid. And they want to know how many firework archers it would take to lift a mammoth. That's an excellent question. I don't have an answer to it. But let's find out. Last time we did the uh, the balloon archers versus a, <laughs> versus a bunch of things, right? So now let's try out... Oh god, where were these things? Firework archers would make sense in the medieval times? Hey, also known as Dynasty, I guess. Right. I knew that, obviously. I am a Tabs Pro, after all. Alright. One archer. What do you got? Oh, yeah. No, I think that worked pretty well. Alright. You know the rules. Double it, and we'll just keep doubling it. This might take a very long time, actually. He's getting... Well... I wouldn't say he was getting pushed back. But... He did look like he got stopped. Wouldn't you also have to... Alright. Wouldn't you also have to, uh... Get them going the right way? Otherwise you're just gonna push them backwards, right? I mean, I guess, couldn't that count as an also... Kind of partial victory? One, two... Three, four... So now we're at, what, eight? Oh, man. Looks like it's gonna snap his neck. Okay, well that did something. But it wasn't good enough. That's... wait. Apparently my building is terrible. I was hoping I could just drag out another line of guys, but, uh... Please don't hit each other in the back. Okay, good. Holy crap, I thought he was attacking. It's just the fireworks causing complete havoc. Okay, I should probably start doing it a little bit differently here. Start doing these. Well, that's close. We were at 16 before, weren't we? Oh my god. Oh, oh. Oh, it was almost there. It was almost there. 32 doubled is 64. For all you math wizards out there, I know there's at least none of you anywhere. There we go. Okay, well, this is double. Does that count? I don't know that that counts. I... Whew. Should we double this again? That seems like a lot of guys. One... Don't go back there! Oh no, can I not make this look decent? I still need a whole bunch more guys. Fine, we'll just start a new row. Actually, can I do one here? Kind of. There we go, 128. Oh! Well, okay, apparently that's a little bit too strong. Let's say we, uh, dial it back just a little bit, huh? How about we remove these? And we remove these. I guess the question is, can you even get him to lift off without killing him? Uh, can you even get him to lift off at all with fireworks, is the other question. Because unlike the balloons, fireworks aren't really aren't really kind of hitting somewhere that would lift. I mean, I feel like that was pretty darn close. We might have to count that. That might that might be a thing we have to count. Unless I can get my firework archers under him somehow. I mean, that's that's basically going up in the air. Basically, right? We're down to 86 now, though. 
Oh yeah, he- Oh, there you go! That was airborne! Pause the video! We got it. Is he airborne right now? Oh, that's technical. Technical right there. Airborne. Foot is off the ground. Proof positive. We did it with 86 archers. Could it be more or less? I'm too lazy to find out. But there you go. <laughs> Mystery solved, apparently. I wonder if... Like, what... What happens if it's just two guys? Couldn't we run, like, some kind of simulation here? If you did one-on-one. -on -one? See, these guys aren't even getting lifted off the ground. Who won? Blue. Okay. How about we do this five times? Kind of like rock, paper, scissors. So blue, I should write that down. Blue got one. Red has none. Blue again? Oh no. Is this, is this like a, even a fair thing? Is there something with blue that makes him shoot first or something? I mean, it looks pretty even to me. Blue again? I'm sorry, red team. I, it's, it's all over for you. For some reason, the way I'm doing this, blue is just going to win. Apparently. Whoa. See you later, red. Look at this blue guy. He's toughing it out. We'll do it one more time to confirm the results. Because if blue is slightly closer to the line, maybe that makes him win more. I I, I don't know. There's got to be some reason for the uh, the inaccuracies, right? All right. Let's just uh, one, two, three. How about that? We'll put him three back. One, two, three. This is science. We're doing science here, folks. Well, wasn't really expecting that. Um, great, okay. You try hitting each other this time. If your arrows are ready, you should be pulling them back. Okay, let's uh, move them back a couple paces, shall we? Apparently they can't hit each other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! That's about how far they were the first time. Yes, okay. Now we're equal. Red is going away. I get a feeling blue's gonna win again. Does it just give it to blue every time? I think that's not fair. I think that's cheating. I think we should be lighting, or writing letters of protest right now. Where the heck? What the? Blue again. Oh man, we've discovered a flaw here. No, no, that's cheating. We can't, you can't change the statistics by cheating. It's just, it's, it doesn't work. Statistics run life. This is just, this is awful. I'm, I'm just erasing this. There, there's no, there's no tally marks. There's no red versus blue. It's just blue. Blue wins. It's like the game is, uh, more fan of blue. That's fine. I've always been the red team anyway, so. Who cares? Who cares? You know who cares? Balloon archers. They always say that they're the weakest. But, uh, we'll give them a chance here. Oops. Let's get on the mouse pad so we're not uh, breaking everything here. 24? No, you're not going to cheat balloon archers. Whoops. Can we not just... Can we not just get like a steady hand or do I need to drag it faster? Faster is what it is. There you go. I feel like firework archers should win this because the balloon archers are going to go flying all over the place. These guys are just going to drop right back down. So far, that's proving to be the case. Oh, look, there's balloons on the ground here. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry, balloon archers. I just... You know, I gave you your chance in the... Whoa! Where are you going? I gave you your chance in the spotlight. And this is how you treat me. This is how you treat me, huh? <sighs> Serves you right. Red victory, finally! That's what we're talking about. I don't even think... There's no point putting more of these guys in. Although they did hit every single firework archer. There you go. All you need is an unfair advantage in life, folks. Let that be a lesson as you're growing up. Get an unfair advantage, and that's all you need. Um, okay. There was one other thing I was going to do with firework archers. And I don't remember what it was. Maybe there wasn't. There probably wasn't. I tried to write some of them down. Now, <sighs> how much does it actually take to break a computer. We're going to start easy, because I just want to see Hobbits brawl. We've seen them in action before. They just run at each other, and then they hop, 
jump and it's just a pile of destruction. You've seen that. So what happens if we try more of these? I mean, a hundred? Does that work? 101? Sure, let's go with 101. No, no, my OCD won't let me do that, I'm sorry. It's gotta be 100. I can feel the frame rate just disappearing like it never existed in the first place. Good criminy. What is even happening in here? It's just people tugging on people. It's like some kind of Irish brawl or something. Like the bar is just broken out in a fight. And that's it. The whole town is going at each other's th other throats right here. These guys are trying to stack each other, they're getting unfair advantage. This guy's trying to take him down. Look at this guy getting thrown! Jeez! The strength of that blue player! That poor guy. He seems to be okay, though. Yeah, he's right back in the fight. Is anybody... Okay, there's a couple guys that have died. Only a couple, though. Oh, God, this frame rate is starting to make me nauseous. Ugh. Maybe I should just leave the camera up and back. That way we're not moving it. If I don't move it, you can't tell the frame rate's rubbish. Well, I suppose you still can, but, you know. It's all relative. I think, once again, blue is winning handily. Although, there's a large group of red over there. But they were just intercepted by the blue group. And red is not faring well over here, so blue's gonna get reinforcements. There's just something about the blue team. If you're gonna be on this, and you're gonna play multiplayer, you should probably be blue. Because, uh... I don't think red's doing so good in any of these trials that I'm doing. Highly unfortunate. At least we're starting to get the frame rate back, now that it's like five versus one. Oh, yeah. There's some poor fool in here. Is it just you? I can't even tell. I can't get in here. There's too many feet. There's too many legs. I'm in. Yes. We are inside the brawl. Blue has won. Did anybody uh, really doubt that? Did anybody? I'm not gonna let this play out because I can't even place units at this rate. Like they're just standing there doing nothing and the game can't handle it. So, you know, I just wanna see for like five seconds just how many zero frames we get. Oh boy. Look away all ye who are motion sick, which includes me. Oh, See, if I was more ambitious, I would just put like 500 units on the screen and let it go and see what happens. It could, like destroy my computer. But I'm not. Because it, it's lagging just putting the units down, which is making it all the more cumbersome to actually, to actually get all these units up and uh, do their thing. Jeez Louise. Now where? No, don't place a guy over there. Let's go to Mon Min Yu and Sandbox. Is there anything we can do? I kind of wanted to see the arena. If you were to pair... I don't know why I like doing mirror pairing so much. I don't know if that's terribly exciting or not. But I just like to see when things are kind of equally matched. Just what it looks like. Like all these guys shoot and then drag, but if they're dragging each other, what happens? Because if they both shoot, and they both hit each other, then they drag each other toward each other. So what does that even mean? What does it do? We might have to turn this down to like one versus one again, and see what happens. Just to scientifically see what's going on. Basically, at that point, they just become regular units then. Because if they pull each other together, then they just attack with their weapons. And then it's just regular fighting at that point. All right, red victory. See, I don't know, I think this is fascinating. If we were to do this up to 14, I think we can all shoot each other. 
pretty much. It looked like some of them were crisscrossing. Whoa. But I think more or less, they basically went for each other. Red victory. All right. Good job, Red. We're getting some, uh, getting some points back here. Now, do we have a line settings? I can change the lines. Whoa. I did not know you could do this. Can I make a... Oh, cool. You can scroll like that. Look at this. My scroll wheel is unlockable. I can just do this and let it go all day, all night. But where's the stop? Basically just kind of what we were doing with the other side. Fantastic. Okay, I have one more idea here for this episode at least. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I think King of the Hill might not be a bad map for this. Maybe. Maybe. Um, where do we want to go? Just Ancients? And then, actually, I do want to do... This... And I want to do this. Okay. And then we want to do Zeus. And then we want to do Hobbits for days, Hobbits for days, Hobbits for days. Can a Zeus beat Hobbits? He has uh a chaining attack. I think this is... Oops. I think this is too much for a Zeus, though. We might need more Zeuses. Zeus eyes? Zeusies? I'm not entirely sure. Are they too high? I don't know. We're just gonna go with it. I'm too lazy to fix it. Because, see, he can hit a lot of them, but I think they're gonna overwhelm him too quickly. And I don't think he has much health once he actually gets attacked. Wow, that is... scary. I, I don't think he can hit anybody once they're this close. Well, he got that guy, which would also zap a ton of them off of him. Holy cow! He's hitting some of them! Oh my god, look at all the death! He got one side completely down. The mighty Zeus is free! Can he get another hit in, though, is the question. He got one. He's trying to stab between his legs right now. You see, how many of these guys down here aren't actually attacking? He's standing above them. He's standing on top of them. Oh, there's another good strike. There's... Oh, I was going to say, there's hope here. Ooh, that was close. That was super close. I feel like he gets another try. I think two of them will be too much, but we'll see here. I think it's just a problem of once they get close, Zeus can't target. Crap. Oh yeah, two of them. Way too easy. Way too easy. Let's take out the first row. Let's give him a chance to attack here. That'll buy him some time. There you go. 92. Which... I mean, technically, shouldn't I make it 100? Isn't that, that's not a better number. 99, 100. There you go. So he got, he got good attacks off there. He almost killed that entire side. So now it's just three sides. But once they're here... Come on, Zeus. You need another good strike like before. Stand on top of them and shoot down. Just shoot down. I believe in you. That looked like a pretty good strike. Ooh, oh, that's about where it ended the last time, too. Just about. So Zeus can't fight a hundred hobbits. Who would have figured? Although, well, I mean, according to Star Wars, don't try it, Anakin. I have the high ground. You know, I, 
He should be able to win, but technically, it's a big flat spot, so they're already up on top by the time he can do it. He can get one side pretty well, but at that point after that, basically over. Basically, basically over. I don't know. It's ridiculous. Keep throwing your ideas at me. If you got anything you want me to try, let me know. We can have some fun. I do see in here the... See? Oh, they're right here, actually. Uh... There we go. I do see my secret units in here. So I think I'll probably dedicate an episode to just trying out all the secret units we've unlocked and having some fun with that. Um, I could probably stand to get a couple more, though, so I need to keep an eye out in the levels I'm playing through to kind of find what I might have missed and see uh, see what we can do about that. But that might be kind of fun, right? Just kind of go into sandbox mode and throw some secret units around see what we can do. I know somebody said there was one unit I'd missed that would get me like a tornado or something. So maybe I should look into that as well and uh, go back and get that unit. And we'll just continue messing around. Have a little bit of fun, huh? But that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Until then, stay metal.